Are there, are there any startups outside who want to come and hear about how to get a press? You better come here now, otherwise that's it. You're over, you're done. Okay. That's it. Hello. Okay, right. Um, so what do I point at this? Okay. Um, there you go. That's my email address. Hello. Hello. I get um, a lot of email every day, about 500 emails a day. And so if you can attract my attention in that hailstorm of email, then good luck. Okay. Um, quite a good way of reaching out to me is also via Twitter. Um, and I only really Facebook friend people uh, that I get drunk with. Okay? Okay, cool. Um, right. The point here is, what is news? You see, what I want you to think about is not what PR is, what press release is, but what news is. Because if you're trying to talk to the media, the media is interested in news. Something that's new, obviously, but they're interested in a story. So stories are what makes news, not just the fact that you exist. And I'll talk about that in a second. But so the question is, is, do you stand out? Are you a purple cow? Now, you don't really see purple cows very often, do you? Right? Or maybe, do you do in Turkey? No? Any purple cows here? No. Maybe that was just uh, uh, some parts of uh, Russia or something, where there's a lot of uranium. But um, news is a purple cow. So you've got to stand out. You don't see purple cows very often. So try and be a purple cow. Try and be different. Because there's a hell of a lot of companies out there who are all doing very sim relatively similar things. So try and stand out, OK? Um, and uh, the point is, it's got to be different. Like, you know, a dog bites a man or a woman every day somewhere on the planet. But just biting a dog, unless you're in Korea uh, is, or South Korea, is uh, very unusual. So stand out. Um, also, we've got to remember that journalists are interested in making their titles and their own careers successful. So y if you appeal to the title and the, to the journalist, then they're going to be very happy. If you're going to give that title a story which they wouldn't necessarily get, uh, the readers uh, would find fascinating, then fantastic. Now, you might think you're fascinating, but you should read the title that you're trying to get into. That time and time again, I get pictures from PR people saying, uh, you really should cover this incredible new technology for detecting submarines under the polar ice cap. I go, right. Well, we don't write about that on TechCrunch. And they go, no, it's a really interesting story. I'm like, we just don't write about that. And that's the point, OK? Read the title you're trying to reach. Hello, I'm in the, I'm in the way. Um, right, what else we got here? So just being a startup does not make you news. Just, being, just existing, right, does not make you news. Um, the fact that you exist is not news. Just being a startup is not news. Just being a startup doesn't put you onto TechCrunch. So there's a lot of startups out there. We're in the, the, the internet is pretty much everywhere now, just about. Possibly some parts of Mongolia, and not, don't, not connected yet. But other than that, there are startups everywhere. So you're, you're now competing with the rest of the planet. So just existing isn't enough. Perhaps if you were existing in 1995, as a startup, you were probably pretty rare, and probably only in Silicon Valley, but that's not the case anymore. So goodbye to that. Um, the question is, you want to be relevant. Now, how do you be relevant? You get into the news agenda. Something happens in the news that makes you go, that's, that's a, that thing that just happened in the news is about us. Bloody hell. That, that, that kind of thing. We've got a product which should answer that question right now. Now, this is your moment. This is when you join the news agenda, right? Now, what, do, what the hell heck is this? Why is Mike putting up a picture of a plane in the, in the, in the river? So remember when the plane, well, it was a, what, a few years ago, uh, the plane crash landed in the Hudson River, uh, and it was very lovely, and everyone was saved, and the, the pilot was a hero, etc., etc. So two things happened that involved technology that day. The first one, that big main picture was a picture taken by someone on one of the ferries and it was very early in Twitter's development, probably about 2007 or something like that. 
Um, and somebody, some startup had built a thing called TwitPic, which allow, allowed Twitter to post pictures. P Twitter didn't have pictures then. So TwitPic was a startup. TwitPic allow, allowed people to take pictures and post them t directly to Twitter. And um, this person went faster than the ferry, click, took the only photograph of people being rescued on this plane, um, and, um, and that, that basically made worldwide news. TwitPic then got traction because it was the only company that allowed that photograph to happen right there. Um, so obviously Twi TwitPic, kind of by accident, joins the news agenda. They got into the news because they got into the news agenda. If they, if they uh, happen, hadn't happened, they could quite uh, easily have joined the news agenda by rushing someone there, taking photographs, or you know, press releasing about the fact that they were the only people that could have actually captured that moment, that kind of thing. So they joined the news agenda, they? they looked for the that, that moment. And the point is, is that when you're a startup, you're busy building your product, <coughs> rattling away, building the stuff, and you don't necessarily keep an eye on what's going on in the media. And actually, there could be fantastic moments in the, the media, in the technology media, especially in the press, uh, technology press, um, when you could actually join the news agenda and that's your moment, okay? And the second one uh, over here was a 3D modeling uh, startup, which could 3D model the plane going up and having, having the bird strike and going down. So. And they released the video, and that video became a massive YouTube hit because they were the only ones who released it fast enough. So that was interesting. So be relevant. Time, timing is everything in news. Another thing is this. You're busy rattling away on your startup, trying to create code, but uh, when eventually you cut to the amazing point at which you think you're more or less ready, you want to do a press release. Well. Really, you haven't, at that point, you haven't actually done any work with the media yet at all. So you haven't made any conversations, you haven't actually got to know the media at all. So why don't you find out who in the, per in the media that you're likely to be able to contact in the future, try and build a relationship. So, because it's about getting to know how the news media works and observing it, and therefore it's much more likely that you're going to end up featuring it in it. Um, so, in other words, what I'm saying, negotiate before you shoot that press release. And when you want to talk about a big release, a big launch, a big announcement, funding, you name it, uh, this is when you go into negotiation mode with the media. You start talking to them, saying, look, we're going to do something next week. Uh, we've got a big release, or we're launching, or we've got funding, those kinds of things. That's when you start negotiating. Do not go, we've launched. Right? This is why. This is a st stress tech writer. I'm actually writing at the back here, trying to get an article out at the moment. Um, lots and lots of incoming. Now, in the old days, when you were a reporter sitting at a, a news desk, all you had was a phone. Uh, I know that might be difficult for some of you to realize, but um, that's all you had. You had a phone and you had contacts and perhaps you might have a bar to meet people in. But um, that was it. Now you've got a lot of incoming. All of these things are incoming and many, many more. I now have multiple messaging apps on my phone, which various contacts of mine message me on. Um, let's see, Wicca, WeChat, Line, uh, WhatsApp, Telegram. Those are just some of them. That's just not even there or not even on that slide. So, there's lots of, so any journalist out there has multiple incoming every day. Okay, that you've got to think about that. And at the same time, journalists are now multitaskers. Journalists are moving around. They're shooting video. They're filing stories. They're, um, you know, booking travel, trying to get to places, do things. Uh, they all have to do it themselves because the days of, of uh, ex uh, rich media companies are pretty much over. Most media companies are struggling. So. Remember all of that, and then this is what happens. Hi, Mark, we just launched our startup. Would you like to write about it? Fantastic, it's really good. Now, trouble with that is you have to make a decision. We have a few seconds in the email that you've just sent saying, uh, we've just launched. Uh, what do I do now? Now, is this bigger than God? What do I do? I've got a few seconds because 
I'm already working on something. Do I drop everything and now do that? So question is, what do I do next? And you've got a few seconds to convince me in an email to either reply to your email and go, okay, interesting, or drop, or just ignore it and carry on what I'm doing. I have to work out if you're better than what I'm doing now to drop what you're doing, right? So the question is, do you feel lucky? Either you feel lucky, or perhaps you've actually thought about this and started to think that actually it's not such a good idea to just drop something on the media. Because if you just drop it, then they have to make decisions very quickly. So the point is, you increase your chances of featuring in the media if you pre-brief, if you give them a warning, if you give them a heads up. Let's see if Mike's interested. We're doing it next week. What do you think? Very simple. You can do that to journalists. They won't immediately publish what you've sent them. They'll think, okay, let's have a look at it. You've given me a heads up. I'm actually able now to, if you've got an application or something, I can try the application out. I can download it, look at it, etc., etc. So I think you get all of that. So here's a kind of a, a generally okay way to pitch. Tell me, chuck me a bottle of water. Is there a bottle of water down there? There you go. Thanks, mate. So um, <coughs> we are launching X. It will compete with Y. This is another thing. It's better now. Th why does it compete with Y? The reason is is because it gives the story context. Journalists are very hard pressed to find out, especially in tech, what the heck you actually do. Hold on, not the just using all my strength to open a bottle of water. Um, from one minute to the next, they might be covering a consumer company to a SaaS company to a marketplace. You name it. So the, a lot of the time, they need context on what you're actually doing. Context is fantastic. If you s name your competitors, if you say why you're better, we've got some context. We also want to know, especially in technology startups and venture capital, is if you've raised money, who your investors are. The more prominent investors, investors you have, the more likely it is you're going to feature because inv prominent investors make news. If you get Andreessen Horowitz investing in your company, that's more or less a guaranteed story. If you get some angel that nobody's ever heard of investing, unlikely, unless you're an interesting company. We'll see. Depends. It might be a slow news day and you might be lucky. And also we want to know about exclusivity. Obviously, we always want everything to be on TechCrunch. That goes without saying. But we also want to know is uh, who else you're giving it to. And please, 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 for the love of God, uh, please don't send 20 megabyte attachments, 300 megabyte videos. We just don't care. If you want to send us something heavyweight like that, send a link to Dropbox or something like that. Left my thing behind. Okay, running out. So I'll put these on. These are actually all online, but I'm sure the guys at uh, Startup Adventure will put them all online for you. Um, these are some ideas about how to negotiate. Yes, well, it's exclusive. We're going to give you a few days. We're going to wait for you to post. This story is embargoed, but here's the info. It's coming out on Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. You have until now. Those kinds of things. Um, and when you pitch, put substance in. You don't ask permission. You don't say, can I send you a press release? Heavens above. Right, now I have to reply to you, say yes or no. Right, okay. I, I don't know, do what you like. But don't ask per per permission, right? It's just po pointless, boring, wastes time, wastes everybody's time. I now have to like open that email, reply, said, oh, I don't know, okay, send me the press release, for heaven's sake, okay. Just own pass provision. Just open it up with actual information. Get to the point. Yes, this is an actual pitch. Mike, given your background, oh, I thought you'd be interested in talking to the founder of blah, blah, blah. With an ongoing debate, so we're entering a second in a blah, 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 blah. Who, who has time to read this crap? I don't have time. Do you have time to read this? Get to the point, because the news media is very, very busy. Right, no. We're going to have a launch party. Great, invite us. We can come and have drinks, but your launch party is not news. We don't care. Um, 
The best thing is make amazing products. Now, if I hear about your product via somebody else, that's cool, because journalists are weird. Jur journalists are weird, okay? Don't tell anybody else this. We'll just keep it to ourselves, but journalists are kind of strange. They think that if they find something, that makes them cool. They're kind of odd, okay? Don't ask me why, but that's where it is. So they like to find things. So finding things is more interesting than being told them for journalists. So if, they, if somebody comes to them and says, have you heard about this amazing new app, blah, blah, blah? You go, hold on a minute, this is interesting. I'm going to find it. And that's really cool. Journalists love that. Also, you can be a great contact. Send us gossip. Send us gossip about your competitors and how much money they're spending on illegal activities. Fantastic. Send us bad news. Fantastic. Send us lots of inter interesting stories so that when you become interested in getting into the media yourself, we'll remember you and think, hold on, that person gave us a great story. Right, I'm going to take your phone call, sir. Okay? Right. Make your own content. Blog, Facebook, Twitter, video, you name it. So make some news, and you, c and you know that Apple does this. They just start fights. It's fantastic. We love fights. Um, always remember, who are you talking to? Are you talking to Mike from TechCrunch, and he likes writing about these kinds of things? Or are you talking uh, to, uh, I don't know, somebody else from another title, and that's why they're, they're interested in SaaS or something like that? Understand who you're talking to, and then you can get to the point quicker. So target the right title, right reader. Often you end up in national press because uh, they often like to ru uh, uh, look at uh, blogs like TechCrunch. Now, uh, now when you want to pitch, try and be interesting. Pitch in a wooden box. People send me press releases in things, wooden boxes and things like that. You remember who? I can't remember who that was, but <laughs> um, it was uh, an interesting pitch. Uh, we like to people talk to people in charge. Send us the CEO. Send us the founder, not the marketing person. Um, do you, do you hire a PR? Well, only when you've got lots of money and you have the press n hounding you. That's when you need PR people to manage all of that. Um, but basically, PRs are just relationships anyway. You could do a lot of that yourselves as founders. And please do not tell us that you're the only company in this space. There is no such thing. Um, you've got to be super unusual, very, very unusual uh, to be that, that company. Um, you've done all of those things. You don't get any coverage, never mind, okay? Stuff happens, Steve Jobs just died, the whole press is talking about Steve Jobs for the next month. Bad time to launch a company, oh well. Uh, another one is pitch like a human, so try not to um, pitch like this. Hey, uh, you're Mike from TechCrunch, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'd really like to pitch you my startup. No, this is not a good idea. Um, pitch like a normal human being, okay? You might see a, a journalist you need to talk to quickly, but if they're in a compromising position or if they're in a conversation with somebody else, Trying to be polite. So what's the story? Right, competition. You're going to kill something. Rumor. You're going to change the world. You're a bit like something else and you're on the next evolution. You have success. We've created a billion downloads of this. Failure. We failed. But here's how we failed. And look, it's going to be OK. Celebrity. You've got Ashton Kutcher to invest in you. And finally, oh, Cairo. Who's Cairo? Oh, anyway, Istanbul company hacks Facebook. So what should you send the media? Bullet points very quickly, video and bed codes, Crunchbase entry. Everyone should be on Crunchbase, be on hi uh, Angel List. Um, hyperlinks to logos, don't worry. Don't send me the damn logo. I won't print it. Um, save the media time, plain text, um, quotes, quotes, links to other articles contact details, all the normal stuff. So know who to contact, create relationships before you pitch them, network with people, have a unique story, personalize the pitch, and lay out the benefits for the title's readers. 
And don't be insulting, don't be annoyed with the journalists, they're very much under pressure. Uh, we're not bothered about your whole life story until it turns out that you are actually damn interesting. Um, we might change our minds. Um, don't uh, target, target journalists with the tailored information. Don't send the same picture to everybody. Um, don't try to PR your company just because you want to be famous. That's pointless. Uh, don't be vague. Say what you want to be covered. Um, yes, but how do I get on TechCrunch.com? Well, do all the above and, of course, see you in the bar. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs>